Hey, how you doing? This is Sean from Bear Flag Mercantile, and I wanted to do a quick video on one of my collectible jugs that I found uh, a couple months ago. And uh, now that I'm starting to make videos and putting them on YouTube about some of my collectibles, some of the things I find for my collection and resale, uh, I thought I would give this uh, its very own video and have nothing else with it. Um, this is an... Uh, I am Mead and Company Ovoid Jug. This is an earthenware jug that uh, is salt glazed. And this is from the uh, 19th century, so that it would date um, from 1820s, 1830s. Um, this has the uh, maker's stamp in it. And it also has a cobalt highlighting here and uh, a couple places on the handle top and bottom of the handle uh, there's just some old paint i tend to leave things the way they are the way i find them unless they're too uh, too messed up and i'll carefully restore this is in 99 percent perfect shape with the except for the uh, old paint on it but this is really old paint so i i leave it uh i say 99 percent because it has that one percent where uh, right here you could see the startings of a hairline crack and that was because this wasn't handled properly um, sometime during its lifetime whether it was current or a long time ago uh, this was in someone's private collection uh, they didn't really know anything about the maker or type of jug it was they just knew they had a jug um, they wanted 45 dollars for it and the second they walked out their front door with it, I knew exactly what it was. And, and I did tell them what it was. And I'm pretty honest about um, when I deal with people. I told them what it was. At, at the time, I didn't have an idea of the price, but I knew it was worth more than what I paid for it, which was $45. Uh, and this was off the Facebook Marketplace uh, locally up here in the uh, Sierra Nevada uh, mountains. Um, again, it's from Ohio. Uh, 1820 to 1830s and it's called an ovoid jug and it's because of the shape uh, ovoid means it's just a fancy word for egg shaped um, if you look at this jug you can see how it's shaped like an egg whereas the other jugs I don't have one for comparison in this room where I'm doing this uh, but usually you, you see them the, the old moonshine jugs that you could see for sale everywhere they're pretty common but this is an uncommon item uh in the listings where i'm looking it up it says it's rare um it has a value right now of 500 dollars if i was going to sell it but something like this uh never leaves my collection and it'll be with me until my kids pass it on to somebody else but this is something i take very good care of i don't handle it by the handle and yeah, that's it. This is neat. Uh, I mean, I really, when I, when I collect items, I take a look at like the overall item, you know, this came from Ohio and here I am, you know, all this time later on in the Sierra Nevada mountains. And I see an ad for it for sale on an old farm up here, um, in an old barn where it's been setting probably for a hundred some odd years. And, uh, you know, here it is. You know, and I, I, I always wonder, like, yeah, what, what kind of trip did it make coming across the country from Ohio to California? You know, these things carried, you know, cider, uh, whiskey. They carried water after they were used. You know, they, they continued using these, but especially the people up where I live now, they were, they led a hard scrabble life, what they call it. And, uh, man, they just had a hard time. This was a hard place to, to settle in back in the day. Uh, because of uh, the harshness of the of the land, lots of rocks. Uh, the Indian population at the time were still hostile toward, uh, you know, toward the whites. And this was just a very remote area. Well, it still is a remote area, but it's still remote. But um, anyways, I just kind of wanted to show something off, kind of keep the videos going, and hopefully I'll have some more for you. My wife today actually just went to town to pick up... Uh, a car full of items that I negotiated for. She had to go to town for some supplies for Christmas and New Year's. And uh, 
And this is it. In 1820s to 1830s, ovoid Ohio earthen jug with the salt glaze. And it's complete with the cobalt highlighting and period paint drips. <laughs> you know, I just leave those as is. I never restore anything unless it's too far gone and it's going to degrade. But this is in absolute great condition. So anyways, uh, I'm going to be heading out until we meet again on the trail. Stay safe. Have a great and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.